But today we are checking our lavender plants or to see if there's any issues with disease or any pest control that needs to be dealt with and if I need to add any soil amendments like lime. So this is a Munstead variety right here. I won't go into each variety but I just wanted to shoot a quick video. And hey, it's Diane from Vermont Lavender, where I make skincare products and also use lavender in many of my uh, products that I make, like sachets and also herbal infusions and things like that. So, this right here looks really nice. It looks nice and green and is starting to just come out. Uh, this is the first week in June, so this is a zone 4B, and yes, you can grow lavender outside. So let me just show you some of the other lavender plants. And this is one of my lavender beds. And so these are the fresh uh, new growth right here. It's really, really healthy, as you can see. And so these are the lavender buds. Get a little closer look. And these will open up in July. The Around the first week of July is when they're in full bloom. And so I let them go for a little bit. I let the honeybees and uh, other insects pollinate them and get the nectar and things like that. And then I harvest them. Um, so this looks really good. This is a slow growth right here. It's still silver right there, which is fine, but it looks really nice and healthy. And so let's check underneath this right here is a weed. So I just want to mention a few things. So now we're going to talk about uh, pest control. So there isn't anything here, as you can see, but I will show you some others that are right in the greenhouse. And the number one insect that actually affects lavender plants is the pill bugs, or some people call them roly polies. Uh, really bad and then the other one is the uh, what is it the spindle bug and it forms a wet uh, like a cocoon around itself and else it's not really good because it spreads disease and so that's what you don't want so this looks really good this is another one and as you can see there's some growth right here here's another weed and I did weed quite a bit of this. So let me back this out so you can see how big it is. And I am trying my, uh, I'm trying to grow some, my tomato plants right with the lavender bed. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to see if it will deter the uh, tomato hornworm because these are so fragrant and the time that these are, tomato plants are starting to bloom is also when lavender is blooming. So hopefully the essential oils and the aromatics, aromatics throw off the tomato hornworm. So here's another one. It doesn't look really good, <laughs> but it does have some growth right here. So that's still good. And then this one right here, let me zoom it in a little bit. As you can see, the flowers right there, the lavender buds are starting to form. Okay, let's back that out. Okay, and then over here, this is a later variety. And it looks like it's not doing too well. And let me see if I can put this out what it is. Let's see. Okay, so this one here is a twinkle purple lavender and I use this for like sachets and things like that um, so this is a later variety there's a weed right in the middle so I will check on this a little bit later okay so this is another lavender bed right here so as you can see there's a lot of green growth and there's still some of it it's just the first week of June so this will really come right into it and there's some growth right there is really good and then it's starting to green up on the edges which is really nice and this bed I think all the other lavender beds I will add some lime pelleted lime 
and it just slowly breaks down. And I'm going to do that. We're going to get a big storm tomorrow around 9 a.m. Supposed to be lightning and thundering and all nice weather. <laughs> but it's a perfect time to plant or add fertilizer is right before a big storm because it helps it get absorbed right into the the ground and the soil and stuff like that. So this is one of them right here. And this is the pink perfume. I have this in another video, how I, uh, how I show that I'm transplanting little seedlings into bigger pots. And this is what it looks like. I'm trying not to cast a shadow, but it's a little difficult. So this one looks really good, doesn't it? Wow. Let me know in the comments if there's any plants that you would like to learn about more, different varieties and what their uses are. I can do some more videos on that. I grow several different types and I am a home gardener. I do not have a big lavender farm, so. <laughs> I just grow it for my business and my skincare products, but also uh, personal use, like uh, when I make bath salts and things like that. Or like I said, herbal infusions. So this is the pink perfume. And so these are nice, beautiful pink flowers. And I will show that when they're in bloom in July. So let's go into the greenhouse. Over here, I grow the warmer varieties and I have Phenomenal, I have Fred Bouton, I have Seal and uh, I may have Twickle in here. These are so old. I've had these for so long that some of the labels have um, been misplaced. <laughs> so this one right here is a new one and I planted this last year. This is Phenomenal. And I have another weed, so I have to do more weeding. But this is a really nice, um, beautiful plant. It's very vigorous. And so this is another one right here. And I have to do more weeding. So let me just back out. So this has really good growth. Another one over here. I wanted to show you the pest. Now this is a spindle bug. And as you can see, it forms its cocoon right here. And then you just take this off and it's like a mucus. I don't know if you can see the bug in there. Uh, it's very teeny. It's really teeny. There it is right there, my finger. It's very, very small. Uh, let's see, here's another one. I don't know if I can get it. But you can go online or Google it. What is the spindle bug? A spittle, maybe it's a spittle. That's what it is, it's called a spittle bug. So it forms its cocoon on your on my lavender plants or your lavender plants and it um, spreads disease and stuff like that. Here's another one. So what I do is I just water it every morning. And so these really have beautiful buds on them. Look at that. So this plant is really healthy. Back out. Okay. So that one's really healthy. This one looks really good. And then this is a later variety and I'm pretty positive this is a seal. And this produces um, the variety for to make lavender wands. So it gets really, really tall. And so it's a later variety. And here's another one right here. So you do want to check underneath the plant and I mulch it with leaves and there's a snail right there slugs but there's usually like, like a lot of pill bugs you know, it's hard yeah there's a lot of activity let's see but that's what it looks like underneath Let's go over here. I have some growth right here. Looks really nice. Let's 
see if I can show you any. So what you're trying to watch for is like this. I It's very dry in the bottom, which is fine, but you always want to as soon as spring starts and you're able to get out in the garden, you do want to start to water the plants. Just give them a little bit of water and it helps them to uh, regrow and come back to life. So I just wanted to shoot a quick video and show you what the plants look like and to how to check the lavender plant health. So things to watch out for is the spittle bug, which is the one that forms that uh, mucus cocoon around itself, but it also spreads a lot of disease. And the number one pest I have is the pill bugs, which is the roly polies. So thank you for joining me today. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And if you have other people that are interested in growing lavender, please share this video so they know and so they could learn how to grow lavender themselves and they can use it for their own personal use. All right. Thank you and have an awesome day.